Hey guys, welcome back to the garden. Today I want to introduce you to my friend, Zucchino Rampagante. Isn't she beautiful? <laughs> there's so many of them. I love it. These are a very big zucchini. They can get about three feet long. They are really, really versatile. They can be a summer squash when picked green like this, or you can let them um, turn kind of orangey like this butternut squash here that's getting close to done. Um, so they'll turn that color and, um, and the stem here will dry up and then you can harvest it to be a winter squash. It should keep most of the winter. But if you want them like a regular zucchini, any stage between, you know, tiny, like this little guy here, to, you know, long and just barely starting to turn beige at the very top. Um, any time between there and there is perfect um, for if you just want it for regular zucchini. I use these for, oh, look at this little guy. I use these for anything that you would use a dark green zucchini for, you know, your standard store-bought zucchini for. Um, you know, sauteing, soups, uh, zucchini bread, I mean, they're just, uh... Make sure, though, that you grow them <laughs> on a trellis, um, because they are just, they're super prolific. The vines go really, 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 really long. Like, I've had to take this, and they start here, and they go up, and then I gotta turn them so they go back, and they're headed back that way, <laughs> and I don't even know where all they're going. They're just going everywhere. Uh, this one vine you see right here goes down there and it kind of goes around and all the way down there and it actually comes from over there. Like they're really, really long. I think these vines could easily get 20 feet or more. They're just uh, insanely excited about life and traveling. These are traveling zucchini plants. <laughs> we kind of have that in common. Anyway, um... So yeah, their flavor is, is a lot like a regular zucchini. They are a little bit sweeter, a little bit milder, but texturally they're pretty close to the same. Um, I, I am honestly not sure that I'm gonna grow any other kind of uh, summer zucchini other than this again. I'm, and they're really, they're really prolific. I mean, we've had some that didn't even pollinate, but I've still got like a ton. They're just, they're going crazy. So I just took a count and I have harvested already four full size ones of these and I have 11 on here, um, not counting these tiny ones right there. I'm going to have a ton more. So if you have a big family or neighbors you love, if you like putting up a lot of zucchini or making a lot of zucchini bread, or if you just love zucchini and, and and really beautiful plants on trellises, then I highly recommend the Zucchino Rampicante. Look for it. Um, I know in other countries it has different names, um, possibly by different companies other than where I got it. I'm trying to think of where I even got it. I'm not sure. <laughs> it goes by different names. So look for it wherever you are and wherever you can find it under whatever name you can but i just i really really highly recommend it oh also it is squash bug resistant and vine war res resistance um these vines have been heavily heavily attacked well i guess you can't say attacked but definitely affected by um what is it called <laughs> uh mildew powdery mildew and they're still just, they've, they've come back and they're going absolutely crazy. So they haven't really been affected. I was down to just a handful of leaves on this thing at one point and it just, it, I fertilized and it took off. And from there it has just grown all new foliage and been so happy. So there you go. I wanted to share this awesome zucchini with you that I have just discovered this, this year and um, hope that it is as big of a blessing to you as it has been to our family, because it really has. Anyway, have a blessed day, guys.